What you are looking at are video clips of the recent carnival that took place in Brazil. The Rio de Janeiro Carnival is a world-famous festival that attracts people from all over the world. It is known for its vibrant costumes, music, and dance. Unfortunately, some groups choose this moment to make a mockery of Jesus and the Bible. After almost two years without activity due to the pandemic, this year's carnival resumed its activities. However, a samba school in Rio de Janeiro known as Gavioels de Fiel decided to mock God and the Bible with their themes and parade. The Gavioes de Fiel school is always characterized by creating parades with themes that mock God and his word. This year, they created a representation of the creation in a red paradise, where they expressed that sin is something natural to human beings and not a consequence of disobedience. This action surprised many and especially Christians. For this particular performance, the actors portraying Adam and Eve donned red costumes and white contact lenses to create a frightening look. Meanwhile, the actor representing Bull's religion? It is reported that after the parade, the actor portraying Jesus reportedly began to feel discomfort from being suspended in the air for a prolonged time and had to be rescued by firefighters at Anhembi Sambadrome. The man, whose identity is unknown, was hanging from the top of a moving and decorated truck, which was one of the main attractions, in addition to Adam and Eve. He was taken to the ground quickly so he could get medical attention, and he still had consciousness at the time. Nevertheless, a few hours later, he was transferred to Santana Hospital's emergency room, where doctors checked on him. His medical condition at present is still unknown. It is not the first time that an actor suffers a sudden event when this type of activity in Brazil depicts Jesus trying to make fun of him. Because the last time when there was also another actor dressed as Jesus crucified and defeated by Satan, it was rumored that the man later had a car accident. What can we say to this? These people are mocking God. Take a look at this satanic display going on and people are just sitting around cheering, claiming to be having fun. Is this how to have fun? This is outrightly mocking Christianity. They have someone dressed up, acting like Christ. And they also have blasphemous people dressed up as Satan, attacking Christ and stabbing him with a pitchfork. These people are not ignorant of what they are doing. They know that this is a mockery, but can a man mock God? The scripture says God cannot be mocked. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Galatians chapter 6 verses 7 to 8. After such a demonic display, people are later surprised by the level of wickedness and destruction that comes on the earth. You reap whatever you say. They are ignorant. It's just art. No. This is not just art or entertainment. A lot of research and planning is carried out before executing what you are seeing here. This is someone's imagination, design, and put together with a large team. The devil is clearly using someone to send a message across, trying to paint a false narrative in the people's minds. Do you know how much time and effort goes into designing one of those things? They think that they are mocking Christianity, but actually they are mocking themselves. They think it's fun. Oh, we are having fun. There's nothing fun about parading yourself, masquerading as a demon or a ghost. We saw a similar display of God because God is against idol worship. He clearly warns us not to make a graven image. The scripture says, You shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. As you can see, these are direct disobedience to God's commandments. It is reported that a few days after the carnival, massive downpours have caused landslides and flooding in coastal towns of Brazil's richest state, which has so far been hit by more than 23.6 inches of rain, the highest cumulative figure ever in the country. Rescue operations are ongoing and 1,730 people have been displaced and also 1,810 left homeless, according to the Sao Paulo state government. The amount of rain that is falling in a short period of time is incredible. People's homes are being destroyed. People's businesses are gone. In the midst of these, people still want to live their life in a way that is rebellious to the Word of God. They want to live according to their own lusts of the flesh. And not only that, they want to attack the very one who came to save them by making a mockery of Jesus Christ. 
Now is the time to wake up because the Bible foretold that in the end times the love of many shall grow cold. Men shall be lovers of themselves than lovers of God. That is what is happening right here. What are your thoughts about these? Please share your views in the comment section. Give us a like if you like the video and subscribe to see more videos. Thank you.